Hey, what's up, Charter Fam? Oh, today's video, uh, we're just going to take a look at the market. We're going to see what's going on, but uh, Bitcoin has crossed that 70,000 mark. Look at the dominance here. That's why we got it pulled up. The dominance is about 52.3. ETH is about 16.1%, all right? So it has been going crazy. We're just waiting to see when that dominance is gonna pull back, okay? Um, once it starts pulling back, then maybe, maybe we might end up seeing some kind of an alt season, okay? Just take a look. This video should not be too long. Like the video, you guys, subscribe to the channel. But Bitcoin is hanging around that 69K mark, 70K mark. You know, it's kind of flirting up and down with that. <clears throat> All these charts that we're going to look at are going to be on the actual weekly. So there's a good, good chance that, I mean, you really can't. I really don't see any bear signals going on on Bitcoin on the chart right now. I don't see any bear signals. You could like do something crazy like that. I mean, that's just a hope and a dream right here for it to pull back all the way down to that 45 mark. I think that if it is to hold at least, I mean, because it's always going to fluctuate, you know, it's a volatile asset. So I, if it at least holds like that 68, 65 mark, somewhere around there, I think that we should be good. If it tries to do some kind of a pull back and blast off type situation, I wouldn't be too surprised. Like I said, the weekly chart is going to give you the whole full picture, kind of, you know, what's going on. Let's go like on to some more recent type stuff. So let's hop on to the four hour chart right and the four hour chart gives you a little bit more detail okay now this is going to be where these previous areas that i had marked off that's where those are going to give us the justice set okay so this is going to be the four hour chart this point is around the 73 mark of where bitcoin rose to but pulled back Right now, it's still around that 70 mark. There's a chance where it could hit that 73 mark and just this is going to be around that 63, you know, 62, 63 mark. I mean, you really don't know where it's going to go. I mean, I'm very sure that if the bulls let it get down to bears can get it down to at least like the 68 mark. I can guarantee you if it holds that 68 mark. The bulls are going to get it. They're going to eat it up quick because when that dip comes down, they're going to eat it up quick and probably just shoot it right through the roof. All right. One, and this is going to be Dogecoin right here. Dogecoin today was really showing itself. Well, last time I checked, Dogecoin was like 21 cents earlier this morning. Now it has jumped to this is going to be on the Bitcoin side of life. Let's go ahead and see if we can <clears throat> pull it up. Um, let's see here. Let's see if we can get it on the Coinbase. So about, so it's like right here at this 20 cent mark here. So it actually pulled back just a little tiny bit. There's a big question on whether it's gonna reach its all time highs. I remember uh, Dogecoin, I think it got to last cycle. I think it was around 73, 70, five seventy eight cents or something like that and now we're down here at about 19 20 cents it's been kind of ranging you know it's crazy like I always say you know i'm i'm one of those ones that has that story you know if i would only bought more sold you know what i mean so i'm left with just a couple of shares and uh i've been holding on dear life with those you know but um you know we're just gonna kind of wait and see but um dogecoin has started picking up it broke out of this big ranging area ever since pretty much the six cents mark. It pretty much just broke, broke up to that 10 cent mark, kind of pulled back down to the eight cent mark and then broke off from there. So we're pretty much heading to the top. I'm guessing my next price movement is probably, I'm guessing it's going to hit that 30 cent mark, maybe the high 28s something like that within the next few days but we're just gonna have to wait and see how that's gonna operate 
okay? Um, this is Filecoin. Now, I've been keeping a really good close eye on Filecoin. Uh, I do have a bag in um, all these uh, tokens that we just spoke about, these three tokens that we just spoke about. And um, it's been looking good. This is going to be the weekly chart. This is Filecoin here. Filecoin's all time high is somewhere around almost 425 bucks. And right now we're sitting at about $9.19. If you ask me, this is a really good accumulation, really good area, really good buy right now for us to get in. And if you're planning on getting a bag of this, not financial advice, but $9 in this 19 cents range, 18 cents range, I believe that this is a very good buy in rate. I think Filecoin is finally starting to wait up just a little bit and once it start if it does end up deciding to kind of range just a little tiny bit I guarantee you Filecoin is gonna shoot up now whether it's gonna reach its all-time highs again not too sure if it's gonna do that I'm very sure that there's more coins in circulation than there was back then but um, you know we just gonna have to kind of wait and see the $28 mark looks like a really good area where there could be some type of, uh, you know, resistance or whatever, maybe some kind of a support area. We're just going to draw that right there just for shits and giggles here. So, I mean, we're just going to have to keep your eyes on it. That's all that you can really do is keep your eyes on the charts, keep your eyes on the news, and you'll kind of see what's going on. But Filecoin has started to come alive within the last couple of months, and um, we're going to see what's going to happen. But... You guys keep your eyes on these charts. We're always out here looking for new tokens and we're watching this uh, Bitcoin dominance really, really close. We got the ETF coming, whether it's going to come through or not, I'm not too sure. Some people are very, very, very bearish on that aspect. They think that ETH is not going to get that ETF, kind of think they're going to push it back. But I don't, I don't know myself, but I'm just going to say if they end up pushing it through, I can guarantee you ETH is going to go crazy. Seven, eight, nine, ten thousand dollars $10,000, ain't no telling. You know, it's a bull market. They say things just go super stewy. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Like the video, subscribe to the channel.